Hey y'all, it's Reba. Thanks for checking out the Drinking Vegan channel. Today we are going to make a whole wheat artisan bread that you make in your Dutch oven. It only has a few ingredients. It's super easy and it is yummy. I take it if I'm going to a party and need to take an appetizer. It's also one of my go-to's when I'm having non-vegans over for dinner. Like, even people who do low-carb love bread. They may not eat it, but you know they love it. Who doesn't love bread? Anyway, it's easy, it's delicious. Let's get cooking. So we are starting with three cups of whole wheat flour. I'm adding a teaspoon of uh, yeast, a couple teaspoons of flaxseed, just because the lignans in flaxseed are so good for you, cancer preventative, healthy omega-3s. And then at this point, you can add whatever seasonings you like. I'm doing some Italian seasoning and some dill weed. It's delicious. Those are my favorite seasonings in this. Then you start with a cup of warm water. Now, if a cup isn't enough, just add a little more. I actually probably ended up on this one using a about a half cup more. One of my tips for dough is using the end of a spoon or a spatula to get everything mixed well. It's actually a lot easier. Once everything is incorporated and you have a nice dough, just make it into a little ball. I like to transfer it to a clean bowl, but you certainly wouldn't have to. And then you will cover with cellophane, saran wrap, whatever, whatever you like. I also like to put a towel over it and then you let it hang out for about 12 hours so you do kind of have to have your ish together so we put together last night the ingredients for this bread it has been hanging out here all night what I've just done is preheated my Dutch oven at 450 in the oven with the lid on and it's created this little, I guess, almost like clay oven. So I like to put parchment paper in the bottom here. And it is hot, hot, hot when it comes out of the oven. Just down like that. Now, I am not in my home. I am in our little vacation spot. So all I have with me is this little baby Dutch oven. Normally, I would just put this whole thing in my big Dutch oven, or normal size. I think it's like a six quart. This one I have here is a four quart. So I'm just gonna take half of it. I'm gonna make too many loaves. And it's a little sticky, which is okay. You can also put uh, flour on it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna cook it like this. So you, I'm just putting half of it in. Then I am going to put the lid back on and cook it in the oven for about 
15 or 20 minutes with the lid on, take the lid off and cook at another five. This Dutch oven preheated at 450 for 25, 30 minutes. That's the key. Anyway, let's throw it in and see what happens. The bread is out of the oven. It smells so delicious. I've already torn a little piece off because I couldn't wait. But the mini loaf comes out about the size of a regular person's head. I have a big head, so it's a little smaller than my head. Anyway, it comes out so warm and delicious. Mmm. 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 Mm, mm, it's so good. And it's just a little crunchy on the outside. Kind of just, I don't know if moist is the right word, but mm, soft on the inside. The dill and the Italian seasoning, that comes through really well. It's not too much. I don't like a lot of salt in my food. To me, this has just the taste of the, I guess the flour has enough saltiness in it. But if you're, if you like a little bit more salt, you might want to throw a pinch of salt in. I think it's perfect the way it is. But give it a try. I hope you like this recipe. Y'all have a good week.